Hi, I'm Jeffrey Woolen. I'm Ruth Ann Hall's professor of photography at Indiana University School of Fine Arts in Bloomington, Indiana, and I'm also director of the Center for Integrative Photographic Studies. What we tried to do was uh, pair uh, artists and scientists to make art based on scientific imaging. So we, we used uh, images and scientists who work with the Light Microscopy Imaging Center at Medical Sciences, and we used a, a, we paired a, a textile artist who worked with Indigo, a video artist, and a painter who used uh, images of pathogens, really deadly bacteria and AIDS virus, uh, to make art. To an artist, they might have a very, very different grasp just looking at some data than a scientist might because of the way they look at the world. I mean, there's a lot of science in art and there's a lot of art in science. I mean, every artist actually is learning a lot of science about their medium and there's a lot of technique involved that sort of come about by experimentation the same way scientists do experiments in the laboratory. This creative process that we're doing all the time is really a combination of what we know scientifically as well as artistically. So I think that they come together really well and that when you're in dialogue with people that are passionate in other fields than your own, it really enhances your own knowledge of what you're doing. Artists and scientists are, are trying to say something about the world and about the human condition and scientists do this in a very precise, uh, systematic, mathematical way. Um, artists do it in a, in a more um, holistic, maybe emotional or spiritual way. The, the 21st century uh, is an age of more collaboration. I think we're starting to see uh, a, a desire to reintegrate some of these disciplines. We'd like to think that uh, good art could be good science and good science could be good art. It, it's, it's, it's an idea that was really very much part of the culture in the 19th century and somewhere in the last hundred so years uh, diverged. And, you know, I, we're trying to be a leader in the rediscovery of, of art and science.